I don't know, it's, it's, it's something new and that's what drew me to it. I, I couldn't ever try to fill David Hewlett's shoes or, or Michael Shanks, so I wouldn't have tried. It was something new. Cool. Ellie, you got a question for you? Uh, David, you've been on two genre shows now. Uh, well, Moonlight and Moonlight. And you've been on Moonlight and Moonlight. Uh, I was actually a little bit concerned uh, when they first approached me about playing Eli because I had played a vampire Logan on the show Moonlight. Because uh, just on the paper, you know, a computer hacker nerd. It's like, oh, great, this is all I'm ever going to play for the rest of my life. Unless exactly like dies, I'm not going to have a career. <laughs> I can see the headline now. David Blue wants exactly Eli to die. Um, but and you killed Chuck. <laughs> He's a nice guy. Hey, get down his winner. Get down his winner. <laughs> Last night we were hanging out and the whole thing was just threatening Twitter over and over again. <laughs> um, but then I read the script. Like, I, I seriously was this close to just turning down without even looking at it. And then I read the script and it was a completely different character. And uh, that's one of my favorite things about SGU is I could have been this stereotypical poster child nerd and instead they made him this, for lack of a better term, round character um, really filled out. Um, no, I, I, I'm not scared about it. I mean, talk to me in five years when the show's done. I hope not. Are you afraid of only playing really hairy people? You though, for you, uh, you know, playing a genre role like Henry, what do genre roles offer you as an actor that maybe you might not get as an actor with other types of content? Um, I'm, I'm a huge comic book fan, so uh, for me, Henry, if, if I, if someone had just given me the script, that that would have been the role I would have, I would have chosen anyway. Uh, I, I'm a, I love the, I love the underdog, and I love the, um, the, the outsider. You know, like it's that. It's, I think we can all relate to that. That you know, I mean. It's, it's, it's a thing, X-Men, like, that was just such a big deal for me. Spider-Man, all these great comics were such a, they, they really spoke to me as a kid because I always felt a little bit outside of things and, and, and all those stories resonated, you know, it's like these individuals that don't, that they're just misunderstood, you know, and they're malcontents and, and they've got all this going on and then they, they find, when they do find their home, they'll, they'll and, and, and their people, you know, they they still stick with them till the end, and I love those characters, and I love those storylines. So Henry, for me, is just like he's all of those things, and I think that he's got such an amazing. They write such an amazing uh, character arc for me, and and I think that I mean, it's, it's such a treat to play that guy. He's he's funny and goofy and and bumbling one minute, and the next it's like really emotional, and then he's you know kicking ass as a werewolf. It's awesome. That's a treat for us to watch. A couple more audience questions uh, in the red. Ryan, before you were on Sanctuary, you were awesome on some of the Lesson Lewis's half naked psychotic hallucination. I get naked a lot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's see, and I'm not hairy, really. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks. I, I, yeah, yeah I, was, I, was, I did play Lex Luthor's alter ego on Smallville. Um, the funny thing is, that was a. Uh, um, his name was Lewis Leary Jr., hence the LL thing, and it was a big, it, that was the first time I was ever actually in a comic book. They turned that guy into a comic book character, which was pretty cool. And that was meant to carry on uh, until uh, there were some contract disputes with one of the actors. I don't know what happened, and I, I was really bummed, because that character was supposed to play for a while. And uh, it was one of the funnest experiences of my career was shooting those scenes with Michael Rosenbaum, because he... Uh, He's one of those actors, I mean, you know, because you've got a cast full of them. The actors that just really like to get dirty, you know, they just really like to get in and they get in the scene. We're screaming at each other before each take, yelling. And I just, for some reason, right before a take, I was like, I was like, you are no talent hack. You can't act your way out of a paper bag. You just won the freaking lottery, man. <laughs> and they're like, and action. And he just goes, what? <laughs> Yeah.
Is that the day the contract dispute happened? Because I think I might have some insight. Any chance space to be broadcasting HD anytime soon? Uh, you know, we were in the space truck the other day, and someone came up to the window and just said, why aren't you guys in HD, and when is this happening? And everyone who, who works there is, is fighting for that, right up to the top tier. It is constantly being put forward, and we are trying our best to get it to happen. We don't have a firm date for you, but it is in the works. We know some other CTV channels are going HD in the near, near future, like this September, if I'm not mistaken. So I would suspect that the channel that shows you all the coolest looking stuff would be going yeah. HD in yeah. But again, I'm just the monkey with the microphone, so don't hold me back. <laughs> <laughs> but we want it too. Yeah. 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 Right there. Hi. Um, I just moved here from Boston and I'm going to school for special effects makeup. Like well, I just know how it feels to like become a new character, like get a cut on your face, like as an actor, how much does that help you or how much fun is it? Uh, it's 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 really helpful. I mean, um, sometimes the the full prosthetics. I'm really I'm kind of lucky. I'm a sanctuary because when I the most of the werewolf stuff is uh, is um, CG. But uh, in the past, I've done a lot of uh, prosthetics work, and uh, it can be it can be a little claustrophobic at times, but it really helps, you know, it's, you're in there for hours and then you look in the mirror and just everything settles and it's really cool. I love it. I find it, I find it really, really helpful. And uh, go Red Sox, by the way. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to move on to the giveaway portion of our panel. <laughs> Perhaps our Midnight Madness giveaway? Oh, yes, that is up first. And uh, the first film that we're giving away tickets for, it's one pair of tickets to 